Hi, we're going to talk about indicators, acid-base indicators. What I have right here is an indicator uh, table. You're going to see on this left-hand side the name of the indicators, and then here's the cool part. Check out our x-axis here, it gives pH, and then when you follow this up, you get the color change, keyword there, change, color change for these different, different indicators at a particular pH. Um, the favorite indicator of mine, because I saw this first when I was 12 years old and I fell in love with chemistry, my dad took me to work and let me do um, a titration and the solution was clear. It was just a clear solution, looked like water. And I was adding the base to this um, solution. I was adding the base, adding the base, and then it turned right here, pink. <laughs> I love the color pink. And it was right then I was like, oh, chemistry is so cool. And it planted that seed in the heart of a child that I wanna do chemistry. So phenolphthalein, um, if you have a pH notice right here, less than eight, you're going to have a clear solution. But when that pH right around that eight, um, when it changes to a nine, it turns to a pink color. Um, let's look at another one, methyl orange. If you have a solution, let's say less than four, uh, when you put the indicator, these drops inside of the solution is orange. But when the pH changes from, let's say a three to a four, just past four, it turns to a yellow color. Um, let me give you one more as an example. This is kind of in interesting, this aberwasserol green, it actually changes three colors. Uh, when it, the pH is less than four, it's yellow. When it's a pH of four, it's green. And then when it's a pH of five, it's blue. Mm -hmm. So let's talk just a little about indicators. That shows you how to read um, this indicator table. And thank you to Open Textbook BC uh, for the use of this. Um, here's the key. You're going to do this acid-base titration and you'll have an idea where the pH is going to, uh, what the pH will be at the equivalence point. You choose an indicator where you think that pH will be for the equivalence point. So for example, um, I might be thinking, okay, I've got a weak acid that I'm going to titrate with a strong base. I think that that pH is going to change right around, um, right around uh, maybe an eight. And so I would choose a phenolphthalein to be my indicator. Okay, so that is how you choose an acid-base indicator. Thank you.